will soon become a doctor. Anyway, you are welcome, sir. And of course, I would like to introduce the team administrator, the Secretary of the Society of Nigeria, uh, the hard working Dario Nebiato. You are welcome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. Exactly one week ago, in I was in Barcelona. I took a train from Madrid, Spain, a two hour, 30 minutes train ride to Barcelona. I went to the only camp you know that is in Barcelona, Camp Nun. That is the home page of Real Madrid. And I took a tour of 30 minutes. I wanted to hug the cops and the trophies there. But also I left with a prayer that not just our clubs that play Continental, but our Super Eagles will soon be winning trophies. Also with the connection you have with Real Madrid, with a long time of experience, I'm sure that Nigerian football is set for a new height. So this morning, it's, I want to thank the NFF for presenting officially to the nation through the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, the new head coach, also known as technical advisor, of our dear national football team, the Super Eagles. Let me welcome or recognize my permanent secretary. And these are people that are part of this process, working with the NFF. While Nigerians waited, we read a lot of things in the media, but both the NFF and the ministry kept our eye at the tip of the spear to be able to achieve for what is best, even momentarily, in the interest of our football. My chief of staff, Alaji Abayola, the representative of the NFF president and second vice chairman, Sheo Diko, the head of the secretariat, Dr. Sanusi, uh, Olajire, I used to know him before, and NFV. And of course, especially, let me welcome in a very special way, Coach Jose Pisario. We had the opportunity to meet for a few minutes uh, in my office. And uh, while they were taking the picture, I was telling Okwe my essay on documentation that he should make sure that my tummy does not pop out in the picture. Two seconds later, he was whispering to me and touching his tummy that they should come and retake the picture and make sure that he has a flat tummy. I want to assure you that as you coach our Super Eagles, your job is cut out. And you will not need to worry about a protruding tummy, because that tummy will disappear with the hard work you have to do. So this morning, we welcome Coach Jose Prisairo to Nigeria, and we wish him a successful time with our dear Super Eagles. The coach has indeed hit the ground running so that he can help to restore the confidence of Nigerians in the Super Eagles, especially after the 2021 AFCOM performance and also the World Cup qualifier. For us as a nation, NFF and as a ministry, for us as a nation, the NFF as a ministry, the message we want to deliver to the new coach emphatically is that this is the start of a rebuilding process. Nigerians are football loving people a football-loving nation. They love the Super Eagles, most especially, and love to win every game, even though we know it's not possible, whether we play a friendly or play a competitive game. We want to hold you. Let there be consistency and discipline in our team on and off the pitch, because discipline on and off the pitch is critical, a critical ingredient of success. Even when the Super Eagles draw or do not win a game, which is the reality of this great sport, 
we know that no team wins every game. And no sport, for that matter, is 100%. But Nigerians would like to see the hunger, the aggressiveness, and the commitment in the team that you lead. If you lose, it, will, it should be done gallantly with a good and spirited fight. We hope that your decisions will be governed at all times by merit over sentiment, performance over gratification. I ask you to love this country and the Super Eagles. Live in this country, Nigeria. Enjoy our people. Enjoy our diverse cultures, our weather, our food. In fact, become a Nigerian. And then you can lead this team. Use this opportunity that has been given you by the NFF to make a mark and a difference in our national team. We are rebuilding our national team in order to create a competitive and strong Super Eagles by giving opportunities not only to those that have led our team successfully, but also to the raw talents that abound in our domestic leagues. Let it be a blend of the best that we have at home and abroad. And in fact, this is the DNA of the Nigerian football. As a ministry that supervises sports in Nigeria, we want to go on record that we will be supportive of you through the Nigerian Football Federation and the Super Eagles. Of course, this includes your entire technical crew, which you now lead. We create a very conducive atmosphere for you to succeed as you lead this rebuilding process for the Super Eagles. Your success will be our success and the success of our nation. Let me slip this in, that the process of bringing you on was a process that involved diligence, compromise, commitment, and teamwork. And I want to thank the NFF through the instrumentality of its technical uh, committee. I want to thank the NFF president who was at the receiving end of what was coming from the Minister of Youth and Sports and had to deliver it to the NFF and then come back with the hard work of picking up and then going back. But I also want to thank my permanent secretary who each time before we take any decision, we had to sit together and say, how do we do this? Without the way we've worked, we wouldn't have been where we are today. And I believe in that same spirit, we will see the head coach of the Super Eagles blend with the entire team and produce results for our country. Finally, let me end with this charge. Coach Jose Pisario, a charge that you go and conquer. You start with a solid victory tomorrow over Sierra Leone. You follow up with another good victory in Morocco next Tuesday over Sao Tome and Principe, by God's grace. And let the winning attitude and spirit begin to flow on and on until our super egos soar and so and so and so again. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for this opportunity from uh, the Federation, from the government. It's an honor, it's a pleasure to train the, for me the best, I think it's possible to choose the best five uh, national team in the, in the in the Africa. I know the story of the Dawa national team. I remember 1994, and I, I saw in the World Cup a fantastic national team. I know about three or three times in the World Cup, three, uh, uh, three times won the, 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 the AFCON. I know the quality of the players. I know everything. Uh, only I have I come here for one one goal. 
I, I want to win the next, next AFCON. <laughs> Why I'm not crazy? <laughs> Why I don't, I want to do it? Because I believe in that players. I believe in that team. I believe in the quality of this, 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 this squad. I think in this moment, Nigeria has not only in quality, but the quantity, many good, many good players for build the, um, a fantastic team and for reach the top in Africa, in my opinion. I think everybody can agree with me, I think. At the same time, the same time I would like to know the country, the customs, habits, characteristics of the country. Because I know when you when coach know better the characteristics that one country can choose better the plan, strategy for players and for the team. Because these guys can play in, in, in England, can play in other countries in Europe, but the blood is Nigeria blood, no other blood. For that, you can, you, can, you, have, I, you must do uh, sure if I go to do the maximum for our national team, the maximum, with massive rigor, demand, commitment, uh, with my knowledge, of course. I have I come with some ideas, but at the same time, I need to feel, I need to know, I need to learn about the characteristics, this country, these players. If I can learn fast, sure, I can do much better than uh, if I don't know nothing. One time more, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, it only, I finalize with only this, this word because I, it's my mind. I, I dream, uh, but I, I believe, not only in dream. I want to win, you want to win. Now, I want to help these fantastic players to win the next half point. <laughs>